Wow, what have I got to show you today? Well, I have an entire island, so come with me as I'm going to let Sir Lancelot guide us round on this beautiful tour of the town of St. Arnold. Well, it's not actually a town, is it, Sir Lancelot? No, it is a civil parish, technically, but um, it's it's quite small uh, compared to the other towns on the server, but well, we it's... Have quick look at it on the map it's um i've only loaded in half it on the map but it's a it's a whole island isn't it whole island village yep yeah so um the whole entire thing is based almost entirely off of saint michael's mount in cornwall yeah um from top to bottom uh and yeah it, it was it was very fun to build um so coming down here this is Oh, well, if you're going to go. Okay, oh, so no, no, no. We're going the... to stick to the ground. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, you want to show this first of all, the harbor. Yeah. So the harbor is a very unique shape. Um, but yeah, the, there's just two big walls that kind of stretch out into the sea. And um, yeah, so in real life, it faces north Yeah. Um, uh, towards mainland Cornwall. And it is connected as you started off on the causeway. Yeah, so you've um, built this all the way out to your town of Cambrose, which is just a field of gold over there at the second, but yeah. I think we showed this yeah. on one of the more recent server tours. Yes. It was just, it yeah, took, there took was me by a little surprise. bit on there. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah, I love so it. it's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, right. carry on. So it's connected by the causeway, um, which I thought was extremely interesting, because um, just... It's only accessible at low tide, uh, and tourists can walk across um, during midday. And it's very interesting because it's just this road that goes underwater into this yeah fantasy island almost. <laughs> so when the tide's out, people can actually walk out to it. I, I've done it in in real life. Um, yeah. So I've I've walked from there to to St Michael's Mount, and then you have to get the ferry back if you catch the tides wrong, and it's a bit like oh. Um, yeah, it's 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 a pretty cool experience because you're there walking across the sands at the open sea, really. Yeah. But yeah, that ship, cool. that ship over there, has always taken my eye whenever I come there, just because I know how much yeah. pain you had to go through with, because <laughs> you built it normally first, didn't you? And then you um then you rotated it with World Edit, but that didn't actually I... solve any issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's called the HMS Fortunata, or uh, if you. If you prefer the Fortuna, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I based it off of several different clipper ships of the time, mainly the Cuddy Sark, yeah, but it is smaller than that. Um, yeah, so I built it straight because um, building it in an uh, in an angle would not be very fun. No, and then I rotated it using World Edit, but that still didn't it didn't look right at all. There were holes. There were missing patches um and so i fixed a bunch of things by hand and it still does look slightly strange but uh, um yeah i think because because <laughs> the angle isn't like a pure angle is it it's it some of it's free some of it's two it's yeah i think getting yeah, it as I, close to two as possible was, was the key wasn't it but you couldn't oh, it's just yeah. really nice anyway the amount of detail on here so what we did show off actually when it was straight as well once upon a time it was just out in the sea so is it still out in the sea yeah uh it might be i should probably go over there and remove that but um actually was that yeah, even so... on this server that might be on the old server no it was on this one i oh, built okay. it just as we got here this was i think this is the first thing that i built yeah actually as we it got was onto this server. Oh, amazing but yeah it was featured in server tour but it was not shown like this uh i did this after yep and i did the angle based on the uh, angle of this pier right here <laughs> yeah no this is and, really cool this break water is great it's really high as well you know you you really are expecting nothing inside to get damaged by any waves yeah yeah, but, yeah. so what we asked going look back at. so we have the whole town to look at actually yeah. um but this is the most iconic view of the town at least um just right along the harbor oh, it's beautiful. um it yeah a bunch of nice just shops and residences because people actually live here um so you've done so all the I interiors did, yeah 
Yes, I, I have not this one. This oh. one. <laughs> uh, but uh, I did do this one right here. This is a little house. Yeah. Um, thatch thatch roofing, and I was thrilled. Oh. Uh, with the texture pack that the the hay block was changed a little bit to look a bit more natural, a bit browner. That's perfect, and, isn't it? Yeah, and I th I think it's great for thatch roofs and everything. Um, and it works nicely with the oak planks as it well. It does. It, it just all pulls together really nicely. Can we? Should we go on in? Should we? Yeah. Have yeah. a look inside. So this, oh, this is a little. <laughs> this is nice. Little cottage. Proper little cottage feel um, in here. <laughs> yeah. I, um, nice stove over there. So, actually. <laughs> yeah, the menu is your uh, Cornish pasty. Yeah, Cornish pasty, um, and uh, to keep the arsenic off your hands. Yeah. <laughs> And up here, I th yeah, just a little bed. Yeah. The stove continues up to the roof, and Keeps not the biggest warm. house. No, this is <laughs> this is very typical of the sort of the cottages because you would have maybe one one downstairs, one upstairs, and then everyone would sleep yeah. in the same room. Yeah. That's kind mm -hmm. of how you do things back then. Very communal. Yeah. But no, so it's a lovely this, little thatch cottage. This, thank you. This, yeah, this family has had some. Some water leakage issues in the past. Oh no! Just because. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's their roof out. is made out of grass. Yeah. But going on in here, this is the Portwall Pub. Right. This is the biggest pub in town. All this the locals is nice. come here for. This is this is really pub-like. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in this chair here. Uh, let's have yeah, a look little at sit that, down. Look at that. Oh. Look at the fisher Ooh. fishers fishermen. Watching coming the, watch, in through the harbor. Yeah. <laughs> watching the tides roll away. Actually, then we want to start singing Oaks yeah. Rose. But no, this is this is a proper cozy little pub. I see you've you're serving the, the, all the drinks over here. We've got oh, yeah. gherkin juice and we've got we've got uh, normal mugs. But no, this is yeah. There's no other way you can do a pub really. This is just what you expect. Oh, little gate here as well. That's good. Oh, and that's a nice little use there. Anything out the anything out the back? Anything anything out the back? If I can open, there we go. <laughs> it's a little st little storage no, there. Yeah, yeah, the storage room. All the all the reserves. <laughs> yeah, no, I could. I, for some reason, I just couldn't open that door. Then it's a very iconic uh, building, right at the front. Um, and I tried my best to recreate it on an angle, but it. I it's, think I think it did. Yeah, it's, I think it's done a the, good job. It's the most modern-looking house on here in terms of history uh, on what? the island. I, I'd say it's built. Eight seven or nineteenth uh, century, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks early Victorian, late late Georgian. It's got that uh, rather than a, a hipped roof behind the pediment, it's got the uh, the railings around the side here. So it's yeah, it's a bit more Italianate than anything. Yes, yeah, it's, it's I would say nineteenth yeah. century easily. No, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, it's fancy. Oh, there's <laughs> nothing in that one. Is there anything inside this? Or? Oh, it's like yeah, a, little, a little alleyway. Back yeah. Ah, look at this. More vegetable hatches. You've really been busy with these gardens. Yeah, the, so there are a lot of gardens behind all the, the houses uh, in real life. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to replicate that because it does give it like a nice small village feel uh, as best as I could. Oh, it does. It definitely does. Yeah. I, I like it all because it just makes it feel real. And then you've got even got a telegraph pole over here. Just Yeah, so this is the... Um, uh, a little building dedicated to the White Sea Steam Pack Company. Oh, yeah. And that is my planned company based off of the Isle of Man Steam Pack Company. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to make a whole fleet soon of boats, ships, delivering cargo and people across the world. Yeah, so this is a, a <laughs> yeah, wireless is... Re receiver, then, isn't it? Yeah. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Because in in yeah, 1912 so, that does yeah it's all starting to come in now we've all we've got yeah wireless telegraphs and that no it's yeah this is all cutting edge technology it, on a very historic island yeah exactly that's because it's it's at the forefront of of European trade with white burg isn't it so it needs to be yeah yeah it is pretty pretty close to all the European towns I think it's closest in terms of location to Ostend. Ozzy's town. Yeah, I, so uh, back here. Yeah, I think it is actually. Yeah. Um, and then here's a little garden back here. Just lots of gardens, lots of vegetation, and yeah, some flower pots. Of yeah. course, in the 
white sea collars, you know, got to have the red and white. So it's a little, little shop, is it? A little flower shop. Yeah, this is... Yeah. It's nice. I, I, it's such a nice village feel you get from this place. There's just so much sort of rusticness to it. This is, yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah you would see this on like a survival server. Oh, what's inside <laughs> there? What's... Yeah, so the, um, this is, like I was saying before, the White Sea Steam Pack oh, Company. Yeah. I did make a few like desks and offices in here. Um, not sure the of the importance of it, really, but I know it's it's got to be used for something. Trade. Yeah, this would be trade. They're just taking notes yeah. and stuff. Oh, you've even done a local basement. Yeah, so this this is an interesting building in real life. Uh, it like goes down into like a lower level, uh, like a rain rain collection area, and then and then it opens back up into the garden area. Oh right, yeah. So it's just called an area. It's where it would have been uh, probably the kitchen or something if it was a house. Uh, they would have it would have had the servants come in and out down the bottom there. Yeah. Right. So when do we move on up to the castle? We got more to see in Let's town first. Do or? that right now. So on your left is the cemetery. It's got a lot of history. Yep. Um, oh, it's even got a nice A lot of large famous way. priests and monks have been buried here, I assume, uh, just because of the extensive history of the castle. Yep. Um, because it was a, it used to be a priory, a small, small priory. Just, well, up, on, you know, up on the hill, up on the volcanic Casually plug. perched, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a large hill. So yeah, this is, I, I tried to go for like a forest cemetery type vibe. Yeah. I, I, I think it looks nice. It looks great. And, and, and these trees are really interesting as well, like using, using walls rather than actual wood. It just makes a nice little vibe giving you that different yeah, colored so sort of birch. I had a bit of a problem. I made, so this whole town is on a slightly smaller scale than the rest of the server, uh, if you noticed. And the trees that we normally use are a lot bigger. Yeah. And they, they like dwarf all of the buildings here. And so I decided to use these smaller ones, which I think work nicely. Oh, they do. And I think it's perfect because it's quite an exposed landscape. So big trees wouldn't really survive that long because they get blown over. Yeah. So it's yeah, realistic as well. Exactly. So this is the gatekeeper's cottage. Yeah. Because, um, you know, you have to have a big fancy gate going up to the, the castle. And um, yeah, this is a really interesting building in real life. It, it, it like dominates the landscape. Um, and like every all the roads kind of lead up to it, and then onto the gate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, going around back, there's a cool. It's, it's an, yeah, it's a very interesting building. There's a turret, and then yeah, I, I then love these love all everything about it. Just the stone color, the texturing, and the windows. You've got these nice gothic windows, with the mini minions down there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Oh, you've even done the interior. Sorry, you were saying these cottages here. Yeah, so these um, are also interesting because who would not want a property looking up at this castle oh, on the look hill? At that, look um, at that view. <laughs> yeah. That is incredible. Um, so this peculiar building that kind of looks like Hagrid's hut from yeah, Harry Potter. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the, it's called the Old Dairy, and it was used to store the milk and the cream products that go up to the castle. Um, yeah, so it was a pain to recreate in-game, because it's hexagonal, but it kind of looks circular Yeah. Uh, with blocks. Um, Do I want to go yeah. in here? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I kind of forgot about this, but so, I think this happened with a few other people. Um, and... I'm just going to slowly back out. Let's back out of that one. The gherkins are struck again. <laughs> no, so, yeah, the idea of these places are they keep it cool so it doesn't go off because obviously yeah. there was no fridges or anything like that. So I imagine yeah. it maybe even went into ground a little bit. But no, that's yeah. really cool. And it's just a nice little interesting building on on the slope on the approach up to the castle. I remember when I came here on the server tour, it was just like, yeah, that's really cool. Cause I don't think you had, you had finished it, but you never put the interior inside because... I don't think there was going to be one at some point, but yeah, as we walk up here, you can just yeah. see the um, the La Fortuna coming into the uh, into the shot now. Yeah, yeah, it does kind of peek over everything. Um, 
which is cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a proper nice seaside town view now. Makes me really want to put one of these clippers in in Wolverhampton. I had um, yeah. I, I had planned for it, but I never never got around to building it because we ended up building those uh, steamers instead. Yeah, it is cool because um, I wanted to go for like a, I wanted that. I let you lead. View over the, over the town. Yeah. Um, with the mass, that's kind of the only reason I built it. <laughs> um, but I don't think in real life ships of that size would normally be able to fit in the harbor. Um, yeah, they, they probably would have done. Um, I think it's just a case of no one really has ships of those size anymore, but I think originally a clipper would have got, got in there. If a clipper could get up that river in, in Limington that I've shown you before, I think it could go into that sea harbor there. Yeah. Okay, I just realized we're going the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> Which is we the have right to go way. This way. Oh, right. <laughs> but yeah, this is the... This is the face the facade that most tourists are greeted with i think yeah um yeah it's it's interesting because there are some very old pictures um that show this wall but it's very different i think this castle did go through some major renovations in the early like very early 20th century yeah it doesn't um, surprise me yeah it looked a lot less decorative um yeah, I imagine it, it was probably there just as defensive. Well, like you said, it was a monastery yeah. originally, wasn't it? So they built that yeah, around it. Was, it. Yeah, it was a Norman monastery. It was actually um, a sister sister um, monastery to uh, Mont Saint Michael in France. Yeah. That's the that's the more famous counterpart, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, this is this island and this castle is very much related to the. The uh, French one. This is beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah. So this is just uh, just the entrance hall. You know? Yeah. Just just a little seat. <laughs> but it is. Well, yeah. yeah. It is a very old castle. It was built uh, in the 1100s. Yeah. Uh, after the Norman conquest in 1060 something. I think. 1066. Um, yeah. 66. Yeah. So this is a library. Oh, it's uh, beautiful. It, forward ceilings. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's very interesting in real life. I was, it was interesting to recreate as well. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's nice. You've done nice some amazing work down by, the, down by the fire. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Ah, oh, I like I, the campfire is looking like unstacked. You know, stacked logs ready to be burnt in a grand fire. That is. Yeah. I love that detail. That just works yeah. so much in this game now. So recently, um, this is a bit of backstory, but. Um, recently, the real place, St. Michael's Mount, yep. uh, they just had a job posting for the, um, I forget the actual title, but the actual, or the person who basically runs the runs the um, upkeep of the place. Like the caretaker and, or something, is it? Yeah, the caretaker. Yeah. And um, it was cool because I saw it on Instagram, just like, if you're interested in this job, uh, like, you, you'd be living in the castle you it's a, like it's a tough job but it's yeah. very rewarding and i'm like wow that's so cool i yeah. wish i could do that yeah well, i mean <laughs> i imagine it's pays quite well because it's yeah. it's it's not a you know not not an easy job i can imagine it's a, a lot of hard work but you are living yeah. there on site now this is great and the organ at the back there that's reminiscent of the organ that we had in the uh, missouri house that, oh yes uh, it is quite so this room is definitely the most photographed room yeah. of the whole castle. Um, and yes, there is a huge organ in the back. Um, wow. I bet it would be pretty cool to, you know, sing some hymns in this Yeah, listen to this room. <laughs> Imagine the wedding in here would be quite interesting. Oh, yeah. No, this oh, is yeah. cool. So, Great bit of detail. Yeah, thank you. So let's go out, the, out this area. So this is the other terrace. This looks over uh, out on the village. Oh yeah! Oh wow! So this is around the other side now. Yeah. Yeah. So this is front facing. Yeah. You can see all the little houses. Let's have a look. And the ship. That's what I like about these sort of castles when you have all of these random higher and lower terraces and and patios and stuff. Yeah. This. Do you know what? The last time I went there must have been about fifteen years ago, and 
I really am getting a vibe of I'm there again, looking back at the castle from one of these <laughs> upper terraces. It's crazy. But that's I'm really nice for that. you, that. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's it's incredibly interesting to look at the photos in real or uh, on Google and stuff. Yeah. Uh because it just does look so so pretty. So let's go down to the gardens. This place is very well known for its its gardens. Yep. And since Cornwall is so warm, well, it's mostly warm. Yeah. Uh, they can have a lot of tropical plants here, and they're very well known for it. And I tried to uh, recreate this this structure as well as as uh, as I could. Um, but it is it is very interesting because there are so many different flowers and plants and yeah. trees and everything. This um, is really nice. This 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 nice terraced. Um, yeah, it's almost like a rice paddy or something. It's nice. It's really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's it's this weird tiered uh, structure, and it looks to be as old as the castle. It probably um, is. The, yeah. Yeah, I guess the monks that lived there originally. Just love their tropical plants. Yeah. Have you have you been down here in real life? Oh yeah, yeah, I've been down here. Uh, interesting story. Last time I was here, I remember sitting in a bench in this very location, eating oh, some really? jelly beans. Um, yeah. Oh. And it, it was at that point I read the back for the first time and realised I had beeswax in them. So I can remember this. This this oh, is wow. a vivid memory of mine. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I was just reminiscing in my head, like, wow, I, I actually <laughs> remember being here. And suddenly realising yeah. that jelly beans had beeswax in them, so it wasn't anything like to do with the castle. I, I can see some blood. Are we, are we about to go into a murder scene as yeah. as, as is so regular on this channel now let that me, it's becoming me, comical? Let me take you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we so. gotta get. So I guess the job posting has been up for a bit too long because the caretaker does need to take care of that. It does. Um, there, that, there seems that to be, be up. an eye looking at me through. Oh, okay. I know where uh, this yeah. is. I know. Yeah. No more pretending. I know what we're going into. <laughs> yeah. This is the shrine to the to the holy pineapple. Oh yeah. Oh Just, yeah. You know, another sh <laughs> oh, another shrine. But welcome oh, to the wow. basement. Gee, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh this my is god. A, a little bit of a funny story. Uh, I am not the only one that helped build with this. Uh, build uh, this. Um. Goose did and Dweebs did, and I think Rusty did as well. But oh this is a bit of a a basement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this uh, we based it off of the two chambers in the House of Parliament in London. Yep. Um, but we built this several months ago, and I don't think we ever got around to showing it. No, um, I've never seen this because you you kept it a secret from me. I I knew it was being built. <laughs> But I didn't yeah. know what it was going to look like, and I'm actually gobsmacked with the level of detail in it. It, it just when coming up that staircase. I was like, okay, I, I know something's going to happen. I know we're going to go into something. <laughs> I did not expect the room to open up like that, and there to be so much height there, so much detail in that ceiling. The, the sort of yes. star carpet is incredible. You've, oh, you've yeah, been waiting this goodness. whole tour, haven't you, to to show me this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the the big surprise at the end. Yeah, but um, he he yeah he did the carpet. I think that's a nice touch. But it is in real life, it is like purple with dots on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this whole entire hall is dedicated to the CDP. And when we built it, it was supposed to be like the CDP on one side. And the gherkins on the other, and they would like deliberate and work together. And I think that fell apart, but only recently. Yeah. As the the that... walls of 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 the societies have started. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this could be a bit more useful. Um. But yeah, this took a long time to finish. Uh, I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> this is beautiful. And yes, this is definitely in well use with the CDP being yeah as powerful as they are. This is oh, a, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is their headquarters in the sense of we've we've been to the, the house where things happen in Wolverhampton, where the uh, initiation happens. But this is where the members turn up in their in their cloaks and their robes and and sit around and actually this is where the running of the world happens. Oh yeah, it's not in a townhouse in Wolverhampton. It's it's in a vault 
under it's a castle in a volcano <laughs> in a volcano <laughs> like an evil <laughs> like an evil lair <laughs> yeah yeah so oh, um my god i is. did build the island and i made it hollow so this I didn't have to like break the no. break the whole entire island to build it, which was nice. Um, but yeah, it it does go quite high into the um, into the the castle. So where does it sort of come out at then? It's just below where we were walking around. Oh right, wow! So it's actually pretty much inside the castle. So the castle is just yeah. like a ploy, a, a disguise. These are really nice little uh, sort of niches with the <laughs> the pineapples in. Our oh, lands. This is yeah. incredible. This this is it's blown my mind. Like I know I've seen the castle in that before, but I hadn't seen the interiors. And and then this, this is nothing I was expecting. Ah, oh. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So Goose, Dweebs, and Rusty helped with it a bit. Well, a they lot, have actually. <laughs> you have all done an incredible job. Um, this is, yeah. Wow. Wow, indeed. Okay, should we should we sum up? Should we go sit down on those chairs over there and uh, have a little yes. sum up of this? Was there anything else to show? Ah, uh, no, I think that's it. I think that's the whole island. That's the whole island, right? Excellent. Yeah, I'll okay. sit on this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lance, so that's been the entirety of St. Arnold's, and with a very nice surprise here at the end. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> so, thank you so much for showing me around. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this lovely guided tour. Uh, Lance did a great job there showcasing everything because I didn't know half the stories of this place, and it's great. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see more towns toured by the builders themselves, let me know in the comments below. We've already done goblins, and that was a great one around Linford as well. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Lance, for building this. And remember, yeah. get inspired, get building. And I'll see you next time.